We're going to watch a video on a book. Well, give me two minutes and let me introduce you to a great nonfiction book and then decide. Today's book is The Checklist Manifesto by Atul Gawande. Atul Gawande is a MacArthur Fellow, a general and endocrine surgeon, staff writer for The New Yorker, and associate professor at Harvard Medical School. So yeah, he's kind of smart. The book itself is a short book, quick read, Checklist Manifesto, around 200 pages in the hardback version. And it's about the surprising power of the ordinary checklist. You can see the nine chapters on the left here. And three big ideas. Oh, before I forget, Mr. Gawande has a couple of other books called Better and Complications. But the three big ideas I took from the checklist manifesto are forcing functions, activation phenomenon, and pause points. Forcing functions are basically a checklist, something you have to do before you do something else. So this is a, I think a concept that comes from engineering and when you have to do something before you can do something else, it's kind of like building a, a home or a house or a, a building. You can't do something until you pour the foundation. The activation phenomenon is interesting in terms of getting people to introduce themselves before they join into a joint venture. So imagine the nurses, the doctors, technicians introducing themselves before they perform an operation. What they found in studying this phenomenon is that when you do this, the groups are more likely to raise concerns, the safety of the patient is heightened, and they make less mistakes. And the third idea is pause points. Pause points being uh, the that comes from aviation, and if a pilot is going through the checklist, there are certain points where he stops and says, did we do A, B, and C? And then they can move on to the next thing. So a pause point is basically a break in your regular routine to make sure that you're getting the right things done at the right time. So that's it. That's Atul Gawande's The Checklist Manifesto. It's a great book and I highly recommend it. Have a good day. This is George with BookLeverageBlog.com. Thank you.